Hi, right, let me show you how fast and easy it is to make a bops cutting die with stripping jigs in AlphaCore Steel Rules CAD software. The first step is go up to the flat dies and say make flat die sheet. It'll ask you here with the dialog if you want it to have stripping jigs or not. So we're going to choose to have stripping jigs. Click OK. Then the next step is to put the die wood around it. So we say make flat die board find the machine that we want to run it on. This is going to be a SPO 1600. So I right mouse click over this die board template to say make this standard. Now it comes up and asks where you want your back breaker knife. I just uh, click on the screen where I want the back breaker knife to be. And then tab down here and where the lead edge breaker knife should be. I'm going to put about right there. Click OK. You can see that fast it uh, put the die board wood on there and uh, all the bolt patterns and everything. I'm just going to move the text over here a little bit. Um, now the next step is to get rid of all the bolts in the chase pattern uh, that are located close to any pieces of steel rule or creasing rule. So go under flat die, say kill bolts. You can see it highlights all the uh, all the bolt holes that are too close to the rule. So I just go ahead and click OK there, and it deletes them automatically. Now the next step is going to be to show the areas that I want to strip out. So I just click on the jigger knot, and that brings up just the knife in the cutting die. So click on the internal areas that I want to strip out that's real fast and easy to do using the zoom tool and click once on the outside and then click on the selector arrow and you can see here it's then all of the offset for the male and female stripping jigs and also it uh, nicks all the lines together so they don't fall apart in the laser. Then the next step is to say make jig and I'm going to say a, a laser jig with stand so I click OK here and you can see it brings in the male and female uh, portions of the stripping jig. If I go over to my navigator palette here and I click on the J plus that shows me just the stripping jig. So the next step is to put the rails on here. That's real easy using the jig rail tool. I just drag from the front to the back. And it inserts the rails onto the female and puts uh, square holes in there for those to plug into. Then I put the uh, hooks on the rails. Those are straight in line with the back breaker knife. Just two cl simple clicks there and inserts, inserts that. Uh, okay, so now the next step is going to go back to the cutting die. So I hit D+. Plus. Just trim the areas where the breaker knife goes through. Then I need to bridge this. So I go up here to a simple notch. Say so select layers. It selects all the uh, cutting rule in there. Say OK. The neat thing about the insert notch tool is you can real easily in the program move notches around. Um, here if I'd like to align these bridges I can just take a move move them in line with each other using the drafting assistant and I can go to the insert notch tool find the midpoint insert a notch. It's that easy.
Okay, so we have the die board all bridged. Go to the jig layer. Okay, the next uh, section is to update the front stripper. So we go under the flat dies, we say update front stripper. Then we can say strip down, and that moves the front stripping board away from the male and female. Okay, the next step is to add the plastic pins that separate the scrap that comes off the female stripping jig to make the built up part of the female or of the male, excuse me. That's the insert jig pin. Just come in the center here. You can just click. You can use the drafting assistant to align so you know everything's symmetrical. Just click and this puts puts the holes in for the plastic pins. So I'll run around here and put a few more in. Super easy to do. Drafting Assistant is really what makes this program so powerful and easy to use. Just about every major die shop in the greater Los Angeles area is using this software. Okay, so then the last thing to do is to put some vent holes in here. I like to use the polygon tool. And I just go up here under pen, rule type, and I say pattern mail back, and I'm just going to Put some vents in the male backboard. Okay, and you're pretty much done with the stripping jig. And then if you want to see the cutting die, you just hit D+. If you want to see everything together, you click on the open book. And you can see everything's on its own individual layer. Um, this lets you double check the registration to make sure everything's perfect on the cutting die and the stripping jig. Um, if you want, I will zoom in here so you can see how everything looks. Puts the handles on there for carrying it. Last thing I'd like to show you is the navigator palette. You've seen me using it a little bit through the process. But one of the things that's neat about it is it lets you scroll through each component of the die. Like there I have just the rule that makes up the cutting die. Um, the external area of the wood for the cutting die. There's the female stripping jig, front stripper, the gripper marks, the jig rails, these stands that uh, separate the scrap off of the female and make the built up part of the male stripping jig. There's the back board or the back piece of wood that makes up the male stripping jig. There's the scrap off of the female that makes the built up part of the male. There's the bolt pattern and breaker knives and the balance knives. Steel rules uses the specifications from BOPS to calculate the balance knives. One other thing I'd like to talk about is we've built this so it has a very open architecture. You can modify any of these templates to make the die boards look exactly the way you want them to look. As far as the labeling on the cutting die, the customer names, the, the text placement up here, um, the corners of the the wood if you want them square um, all that stuff can be customized to to make the die boards exactly the way you want them to be okay thank you so much for your time if you'd like more information give us a call for a free demo 800-862-0795 my name is Michael Collins I can be reached at extension 4102 thanks again